Okay, so here we are inside of Photoshop. I have this pink flamingo. How do I isolate this image out of the background by itself? There's another way to do that. I'm gonna run through all of them very quickly for you and then you can pick what you want. So I'm gonna show you the slowest way. So I'm gonna turn this eyeball off right here. So if I turn the eyeballs off and on, right? So right now, when I turn both eyeballs off, this is kind of like a checkerboard pattern. This signals that this is an invisible background now. So I turn this back on. Simplest way to deal with this, if you want no fuss, no muss, what's the easiest way to do this is the eraser tool. It's the easiest, but the most painful. Just throwing that out there. I could go the hard brush, and I could go now go around, increase my opacity to 100, and I could painstakingly take my eraser. Now, I don't want to discourage you from doing this, but like it is a method. You can literally go around and you can erase the background away like this. Super painful, not a lot of control. You're gonna be doing a lot of like undoing and stuff like that, but that is how you can do it if you want the bare bones way of doing it. The erase tool. Okay, I'm gonna undo all that, boom, boom, boom. The other way is another kind of painful way is you have your lasso tools here. So here's the regular lasso, you just click and you can drag it around and do your best. Then all of a sudden it'll do that and you'll be really frustrated and you have to start over. So Command D or D select if you want. If you have, I call these dancing ants. You wanna get rid of them, you have to deselect. So Command or Control D. Then you'll be starting over and you'll be like, how do I get all of this? My gosh, you'll be all over the place. So the lasso and the polygonal lasso work really well if you're like selecting like an eyeball, something small. But if you're selecting a whole image, it's gonna be a world of frustration for you. But let's say if I want the eyeball, then I would just copy and paste that, Command C, Command V. The eyeball is now in its own layer. So great quick selection for a small area. Big area, as I said, if you want a world of hurt and frustration, go for it. Back to this layer here, here are some other options. There's the magic wand. Okay, so if this flamingo was against something white or something high contrast, the magic wand works really well for that. So you click an area, you can actually shift, shift select. Again, if this is all flat, you could select the background and select the background different from the pink flamingo. So you'll see tutorials on YouTube that will select certain areas with the magic wand, like the sky there was perfectly selected because it's one flat thing, right? So if I want that sky removed, I can select it, copy and paste that into its own layer. There's the sky. That's how the magic wand works. Then there is the quick selection tool. You take the quick selection, you run it around. It works pretty good. You know, this one's a little bit better than the magic wand. You just move it around, but you can see it's dropping the, you know, the front area of the flamingo. It's just kind of like, and then it does that. It can work sometimes, but it can also be equally frustrating. Another tip, if you decide to go the quick selection tool, you go here. I'm gonna make the brush a bit smaller. You hold the Alt key down, it will reverse the selection. Okay, that's how that works. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time in it, just showing you options. My two favorite selections, Okay, I'm gonna go with my old old one. That was my favorite. This is the pen tool down here. It gives you the most control out of all the options. This is why it's my favorite. So if you're looking for maximum control and flexibility, there's the pen tool to select your image. You basically take the pen tool, you drag it around, and you gotta get used to dragging this thing called a path here. It takes a little bit of usage to kind of wrap your head around how to use this. But once you figure it out and once you get your muscle memory rocking with the pen tool, it's pretty awesome and it gives you tons of flexibility. And then you can go around and you can trace the entire thing. It will take, this would take me but probably five minutes. I'm not gonna make you watch me do that, but I would basically go take the pen tool, trace around the whole thing, but I'm just gonna trace around the neck here and then you join that together and now you have a path that's outlined the head. So here is this white arrow tool. If I go, so the pen, I can make a path. I can go to the white arrow tool, click off, and I can click these things called anchor points, and I can drag the anchor points around like this. So if I haven't done something perfect, I can go and I can adjust my path and my anchor points after the fact. 
So you can see why this would be my favorite. Way more control than the lasso tool, way more control than the eraser tool. Magic wand, quick selection, goodbye. Does not give me personally enough control. This gives me maximum control, but it is the most complicated. Pen tool, white arrow tool, maximum control. How do I turn this into a selection? You're on your layers palette. This is where it gets a little weird. You gotta go to paths. So what you've done is you've made a path. Here's the path. I hover over the path here with my hand. I hold the control key down or the command key on the Mac. Press and hold that. See over the hand tool, see where there's that little square that's dotted. That means it's gonna convert the path into a selection when I click it. So I'm gonna press and hold the control of the command key and click. That's how I change my path into a selection. As I said, this is the most complicated, but it gives you the most flexibility and control over your image. Then copy and paste that. So go back to the layer here, copy, paste. There's your pen tool. Again, if that was like, whoa, I couldn't follow any of the pen tool, that was like way too many steps, you can go back to the eraser. There's no shame in it. That's how I started in all these programs. I started with the path of least resistance, the easiest thing possible, and I erased for like a year until I found all these other options. But now, thanks to artificial intelligence, I can't even believe this is possible. I'm gonna show you the fastest way to select an image. So let me zoom out of this for a second. I have my image selected. I go up to select and I go here to subject. That is, I laugh because I can't like, you, you don't know the frustration I've had over years tracing out images for photo manipulation stuff, just wishing that I could click one button and the thing would be basically selected for me. I feel like I'm cheating actually. You're on your background layer, you go select and you hit subject. <laughs> there you go and then you can copy and paste that. Command C, Command V. Look at that, that is mind blowing.